Okay, so in this video, I wanna show you some of the actions and talk about what they mean. When we're studying the actions at a joint or studying muscles and we're talking about here's what that muscle can do, we gotta make sure we're all on the same page of what those actions are. So when we say we're flexing something, what we're actually meaning is that we're decreasing a joint angle. So flexion would be decreasing a joint angle. So I think this is what most people think of when they think of flexion, right? It's like the which way to the beach move. Oh, I'm really proud of that. Look at that, look at that, that's the thing. Yeah, buddy, lightweight. So that's flexion though. So you're decreasing this joint angle. Now going out, that's extension. So flexion in, extension is out. Because for every action you have, you have to have something to put you back into anatomical position. So flexion decreases the joint angle. So you can see that with the fingers as well. So we would flex forward, we would extend back. You can do that with the head. You're gonna flex forward, you're gonna extend back. Now here's an interesting thing with flexion. If you're looking at some joints, you can go in both directions. So the trick I always use is flex goes forward. The only exception where flexion doesn't happen going forward is at the knee, but the knee is pretty obvious. You can only have one direction that it's decreasing the joint angle. If it decreases the joint angle going forward, that's a bad day. So looking at flexion, think flex forward. So if, this is an interesting one, right? If we go here, if we're bringing this humerus forward, this is actually flexion. So we're flexing forward. We extend back to anatomical position. If we go past anatomical position, that's gonna be extension or hyperextension. So we have flexion, extension, and then hyperextension. All right, so another set of actions, if we're lifting, that's gonna be elevation. So elevate, if it makes sense, right? You're going up. Depression would be down. You can do that with your hips. You elevate, you can depress. We can do it with our jaw. Elevate, depress, so up and down. This is a fun one though. Again, use the language as you can. So if you wanna tell somebody to close their mouth, you say elevate your mandible. You're just saying it in a nice way, okay? Then we're looking at moving in and out. So we're staying, we're gonna stay in the frontal plane. That's the other thing I, I should probably mention with flexion and extension. Flexion and extension, if you're looking at it, you're moving in the sagittal plane. Like if I were to cut a line right through here, I'm staying within that line. The next one is I'm going to cut a plane this way, so I'm gonna be working in that coronal plane. So if I go out, that's abduction. So think of things that are being taken away. So you're being ab abducted, A, B, D. So abduction, adduction, you're bringing it back towards the midline, you're adding it to yourself. You can do that at different places. We can abduct and adduct, abduct and adduct. That's gonna be different than lateral flexion, like something like this where it's already anatomically starting in the center line. So these would be lateral flexions but abduction and adduction clearly taking away from the midline or adding it to the midline. Another one that's interesting is uh, circumduction versus rotation, they're very different. Circumduction is something where you're breaking all of your planes. So this is circumduction, you're breaking all the planes. Rotation is staying within that transverse plane. So you can see here it's not breaking through my hand. So that would be rotation when you're looking at um, forearms, these are specific actions to your forearms that you don't see anywhere else. It'll look like rotation, but they are different because you have two bones here, the radius and ulna, that are gonna cross over top of each other. So if you have something like this, that's gonna be pronation, and then going this way would be supination. And again, this is specific to forearm actions here. So the trick I use is pronation, pour out soup, supination, I want soup. Although I did have somebody once tell me, say you could also say, here is some soup, like you're giving it away. However you wanna take it, if you're going to gift soup away or if you're gonna take soup, uh, supination is palm up or anatomical position would be palm forward and then pronation, palm back, or it seems like you're pouring out soup. All right, now some other actions uh, dealing specifically within the feet. I can't really show you on this video, but I'm gonna show you with my, my hands. So inversion would be turning your palms or palm soles of your feet towards each other. That's a little bit easier. You can actually stand on the insides or stand with those insides of your feet kind of facing each other. Uh, so inversion and then eversion goes the opposite direction, much harder to do. Anatomically, it makes sense. Like reach down, the lateral malleolus, the bump on the outside of the foot reaches down further than the medial malleolus. So that's why if you see an eversion injury, it's also likely that it comes with a broken fibula with a little bone on the outside, okay? Um, let me think if there's any other one. So we went through flexion, extension, abduction, adduction, circumduction, rotation, pronation, supination. Uh, um, we can do pr um, protraction, retraction. We haven't done that one yet. So protraction, you're pushing forward. Retraction, you're taking it back. But again, think about language and how we use it. If we're retracting something, we're taking it back. So if you want to you know, think to yourself like, oh, I got to set up, what you got to do is retract your scapula. 
And so retraction pulling back, protraction pushing forward. We can do that with our jaw. You can slide it forward and backwards. So protraction push forward, retraction take it back. All right, I think I covered most of them. Maybe not everything, but I think I got them all. Uh, thank you for watching.